All right, today we are going to be making bacon and cheese ramen noodles. All right, bacon and cheese ramen noodles, one of my favorite recipes. I use chicken flavor because that's my favorite flavor, but you can also use different types of flavors like shrimp, chicken, beef. I already said chicken because I'm using chicken. I don't know why I said chicken, but you can use all sort of any flavor that you want to. I'm sure it'll taste great. All right, we're going to get started right now. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring about two cups of water to a boil. You see I have the water, you know, heating up right here. And while this is heating up to a boil, what we're going to do is we're going to take the ramen noodle package that I have right here. We're going to open up the ramen noodle package. We're going to pull out the seasoning. And we're going to place the seat. We're going to pull out the seasoning and we're going to place the seasoning to the side right here. Just put it right next to the cheese. And then I am going to pull out the ramen noodle from out of the package. All right, going to pull that out just like this. Gosh, sometimes these things are hard to get out. All right, so I got the ramen noodles out of the package right here. You know, normally I keep the ramen noodles in pat in intact and just place it all the way in. But for because a lot of people like to break it up, I'm just going to break it up for you guys just like that. Just break it in half, try not to get it everywhere. And just place the noodles in there. And we're just going to cook the noodles until they are about 90% done, which would probably take about, uh, I'd say, maybe about a minute and a half to two minutes. You do not want to overcook them because nobody wants the noodles to be overcooked. Okay, so we're going to cook these. We're just going to stir it a little bit while they start to cook. And meanwhile, we're going to start prepping our other ingredients. One of the other ingredients are... Uh, the bacon pieces right here. It's like bacon bits. You can get this from the condiment section like in any grocery store I'm just gonna go ahead and just open this up and put this to, to the side And then we're also gonna need cheese. You can use American cheese. This is American cheese right here I got from the deli counter. You can get some American cheese. I'm gonna actually put in like four slices of American cheese into this dish because I like it extra cheesy Normally, I would only do three because three would pretty much do you know would do the job, but I'm going to overdo the job. So I'm going to, I have the cheese right here. And then I also have the flavoring packet right here. Okay, this is the chicken flavoring packet. It's very powerful, very strong, very good. So I'm just going to open this up right here, but I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put it in yet because I don't want to add the season. I don't want to water down the food too much, the, the noodles too much. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I am going to put this aside. Meanwhile, the noodles have been cooking for about a minute or so, and, you know, it's, a, it's almost about another 20 seconds. I'm just going to take the noodles, and then I am going to strain them a little bit. And so, like, what I'm going to do when I strain the noodles, I'm going to strain them, you know, uh, I'm not going to pour out of water. I'm just going to leave, like, a small puddle of water in there just so the seasoning can mix and the cheese can melt uh, evenly, and it won't be too thick. You'll see what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do... It's like I'm going to strain the water. I have a, oh, spilling some of the, the chicken seasoning a little bit. I'm going to strain the water a little bit into this bowl right here. I'm not going to take it to the sink, but normally I would take it to the sink, but because I'm doing it this way, showing you guys, I'm just going to do it over. Turn the heat off completely. And then I am going to strain about 95% of the water. Strain about 95. All right, so after I strain about 95% of the water, it's going to look something like that. And immediately, I am going to put the seasoning in at the bottom where the water is. And then stir the ramen noodles. Make sure the seasoning gets all gets in there. And then add some cheese to it. And you, if, you, if it gets too cool, you might turn the heat on to a low temperature. Add the cheese in there, just like that. I'm putting four slices of cheese in there. All right, I already got the seasoning in. So once you do that, stir it a little bit. Well, cheese trying to get away. Stir it a little bit. You see, I'm stirring it. Make sure the cheese gets in there so it starts to melt. Just keep on stirring it. With a little bit of water that's in there, it's helping the cheese get even. And so once you stir it up a little bit, you're going to start adding bacon bits. I had like maybe a quarter cup to a half cup of bacon bits in here. I mean, 
And then once you guys see the bacon bits in there, and then you're just gonna mix the bacon bits in just like that. Oh man, this looks good. Doesn't it look good? Wow. And then all you have to do is put it and serve it in the bowl. All right, it's all done. And now it's time to serve this bad boy up. Doesn't look good, look at that. I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. Just like that. 